All right. So now let's start and clearly understand what it is. So according to CBSC board for your upcoming 2023-24 examination, where it's going to get conducted, it'll be conducted for two two times a year, they've just given you 10 chapters. Correct? Yes. We all have seen the sample paper which is released, additional sample paper also. Now, according to the prescribed syllabus of CBSC, how many chapters do we have? 10. They have categorized these 10 chapters into 6 marks chapters, categorized into 7 marks chapters, categorized into 8 marks chapters and 9 marks chapters. So they are clear 6, 7, 8 and 9. Among those four categories, the six marks chapters which are given where we have to concentrate that every student rather can study, right? That's nothing but haloalkenes, haloarenes, alcohols, phenols and ethers and amines. So they have categorized under six marks each chapters. So six marks each or chapter and how many chapters? Three. So it is coming to 18 marks. So what is our understanding? Our organic chemistry, the major chapters, not completely, the, ma the major chapter means um, compared to aldehydes, these three chapters are carrying 18 marks. Oh great, we have to be careful with that. Next comes our 7 marks weightage chapters, that's nothing but biomolecules, chemical kinetics, solutions, DNF block and coordination compounds. So how many are there? Total 5 chapters are there. Because weightage of each chapter is how much? 7 marks. So 7 fives are 35 marks. So this is 6 marks category, this is 7 marks category and now comes the 8 marks category. Careful with this. This chapter if you learn completely and perfectly, 8 marks are yours. One chapter, 8 marks, that's it. What is that chapter? That's nothing but aldehydes, ketones and acids. So aldehydes, ketones and acids chapter weightage is 8 marks and only one chapter, so 8 into 1, 8 marks. It's clear I believe. I'll repeat once again once we finish this. The last 9 marks chapter is electrochemistry. Maximum numericals would come. Reasoning questions would come. Nothing to worry. I am there. No, I will clear. I will give you each and every line of NCRT explanation which I did and I will be doing it in a different way now. 9 marks chapter is electrochemistry. That is 9 into 1. That is 9 marks. Let us again recollect or if I have to tell you again re-understand what we said. Basically, the grade 12 chemistry board examination, we have only 10 chapters which we will be writing from the upcoming February month where we have total of 3 chapters which are coming under 6 marks, total of 18 marks are covered. Next, there are 5 chapters which are coming under 7 marks category where we have 35 marks covered, maximum weighting where I can pass the get through or pass the exam also. Next is 8 marks chapter, only 1 chapter if I study 8 marks, solid 8 marks I can get. Next comes your 9 marks chapter, 9 marks, oh wonderful, Ajayenge. we practice it and do it in such a way that sab kuch ajayega. Yes, so together, put together 18 plus 35 plus 8 plus 9 is 70 marks paper. This is our struggle. When are we going to start? We are going to start on December 1st. Let's see how we are going to go and I'll tell you in the whole paper, where and which type of questions they are going to ask you, where we have to concentrate, how we are going to. Let's go to the next topic and understand clearly 6 marks, 7 marks, 8 marks and 9 marks. Total, the maximum weightage is 6 marks chapters, this one. Next, maximum weightage is electrochemistry, then comes aldehydes, then comes this. Let's go to the next topic now. Alright students, alright. So let's now understand what actually is 2023-24 pattern of the question paper, which questions are going to come up in the board examination, which topic I have to concentrate on. I'll be clearly explaining you everything very intricate video and concentrate and understand carefully. Let's start. So as we have seen in the previous video, we, I just said, the board uh, has divided your bifurcation of marks into 6, 7, 8 and 9 of all the chapters. Now, 
in the question paper, as soon as you enter the examination hall, they're going to give you a question paper which looks like this. Is that it's going, it's going to have section A, section B, section C, section D, section E. So, total of five sections are there. Correct? Now, here they have designed the paper in such a way that every student could at least answer and get through the exam. If you could score average marks, you could score for seven years of center marks. Let's see where we have to concentrate. I'm going to tell you which topic, which chapter also you want to get. Let's see. In section A, basically, you are going to get 16 MCQs. How many? You are going to get 16 MCQs. Each is carrying one mark. Now, there is no choice in that. You have to answer everything. That means every line of NCRT, you have to focus on and everything there is an MCQ which is created. I'm going to do an MCQ series also. Nothing to worry. You will be able to get all that 16 marks. I promise that. Then after section A, we are going to go to section B. Now, section B is having what? Section B is going to have five very short answers. Very short answers. So, you know very short answers are one mark, one line, note, one and a half line. In that very short answers, you have an internal choice. It's a two marks question, section B. So, you are supposed to write one or two lines in that. That means section B is having five questions, two marks each with an internal choice where you have to answer in two lines. I'm going to train you for all the two mark questions. Then comes your section C which has three marks questions. One mark is over, two is over, three is over. Now, in this three marks questions, you are going to get how many questions are there three marks? Seven short answer three marks. Now, when it is three marks, you are supposed to answer it accordingly. So, section C has three marks questions, seven with an internal choice in one question only. Means out of one to seven, one question will have an internal choice. Then comes section D. This is where maximum students tend to lose, but don't worry, I'm going to do a case-based question series also. So, section B is a case-based question. That means, they are going to give you a paragraph. In that paragraph, they will be giving you five questions. In that, you are supposed to answer reading the paragraph. There is nothing to memorize, nothing to buy heart and go. Only thing, you need to read the paragraph, relate the question which is given uh, to the paragraph and write it. So, section D is case-based questions. There is again an internal choice in one of the questions. That's done. Now next comes section E long answers. In that section E long answers, careful, five marks each. That means there are five different parts in that section E. So one mark is what it carries. I'm going to show you clearly what in section A, which chapter, how you're going to answer also. That means in the question paper, section A, B, C, D, and E. In these five sections, whatever I have, I can score the MCQs. We are going to train them. Very short answers. We are going to learn. Short answers, yes, we can do. Case based also, I will tell you how to relate within the paragraph in the question. Last comes long answers. Long answers also have one one mark questions. Not thing to worry. So, your complete paper comes to 70 MCQs. Preparation required, very short answers required, short answers required case based required and long answers also required. So I am going to now tell you which chapters, what varieties of questions are asked in each section. Let's go and let's dive into the next video. Alright, now we have already discussed in a question paper, we have five varieties of questions. That's nothing but MCQs, I need to concentrate. Very short answers, yes. Short answers, yes. Case-based que case based question, yes. And long answers. Now let's see what type of questions are asked in the MCQ section, that is section A. So when we go through these MCQs, I remember students, as I said, there are 16 MCQs without choice. So each is carrying one mark. Correct? This is where we have to concentrate. In physical, they are going to ask you numericals, very short numericals where you can solve in 30 to 40 seconds. I am going to train you for that. They are also going to ask you assertion and reasoning questions and they are going to also ask you reasoning based questions. 
why the conductivity is more, why is this less, on dilution what happens, on chemical kinetics why is the rate so much, or how you compare an instantaneous rate and your uh, you know average rate and instantaneous rate, how do you do that, like that, Why? what is the different reasoning, they are going to ask you that. At the same time, in inorganic they are going to ask you picture based questions, wherever you have graphs, based on the graphs or wherever there is a picture, they are going to ask you a question based on this picture, just like your trends or something, you get to learn that. At the same time, when it comes to organic, remember, they are going to ask you identification based questions. So, they are going to give you a small question like A is soluble in uh, tolerance reagent, B is insoluble, in that, in that way, identify A, B. So, simple question they are going to ask you, identification based questions in organic, which we are going to do as a separate series. Then comes IUPAC nomenclature. So, you know what, what chapters? You have haloalkanes, haloalkanes, you have alcohols, you have amines, you have aldehydes. So from all these chapters, they are going to ask, going to ask you IUPAC nomenclature, which we are going to do. Then, correct or incorrect. They are going to give you a statement and they are going to ask you whether the statement is correct or incorrect. You are going to justify, you need to take just 30 seconds to understand and just keep, uh, or cl clarify whether the question given is correct or incorrect. We are going to do that also. Then comes assertion reasoning based questions. That means in section A, if it is physical, I need to concentrate short short new molecules which are their names in NCRT. Then in inorganic, I have to concentrate on the picture based trends. Wherever pictures are there, whatever questions are there below that, I have to learn. And in organic, IUPAC nomenclature, assertion reasoning questions as well as your uh, correct or incorrect any identification questions. Now let's go into section B and C. Alright, now let's see. Uh, section A is done. Let's go with section B, section C, section D and section E. Now, as you know students, we have physical, inorganic and organic. So, in section B, as I said, important. We know the bifurcation, it's a two marks question. So, the normal numerical. As you see, section B, C, D and E. So, D is your case-based questions. That means, in physical, B, C and E, completely numerical so is what they're going to ask. So, don't sit and by heart the definitions. Don't sit and by heart the figures. Not a record. Physical only numericals is what they're going to ask you. Certain things like trends or you know uh, uh, account for the following or increasing order. Why is this this one reasoning question? We are doing MCQs only. Next, when we see section B, when we see section C, when we see section E, just check in inorganic trends is where they are concentrating more. We are going to study trends. All the trends, whether it is in DNF block and P block, is not there. So DNF block element, we are going to study each and every trend as a video. Okay. So, concentrate on that. So, coordination compounds as the chapter is important. We are going to study the isomerism and we are also going to study the IUPAC nomenclature. Very important. Bridging ligands, we are going to learn. Everything monodentate, bidentate, we are going to learn the IUPAC nomenclature. So, concentrate as the topic is written. Then comes organic, whether it is section B, section C, or section E. Careful. Trends like melting point, boiling point, solubility. Then reactivity orders, they are going to ask you is uh, why it is like that, uh, nucleophilic addition reactions, why it is like this. They are going to give you two different compounds and ask you to compare, right? And then conversion. So, in organic conversions are important. So, conversions are coming under where? They are coming under section B, two marks questions. Even if you don't practice more conversions also, don't no problem. You will not lose much mark. But we will practice it. Then comes section C, they are going to ask you IUPAC nomenclature, named reactions, very important, mechanisms, there are five mechanisms, organic mechanisms that they are going to ask you there in section C and identification based questions. As I said, A, B, C, identify A, B, C like that. We are going to do identification based questions separately. Then comes your section E. Section E, organic, same, identification based questions are very, very important. I'll be doing a separate video for that. Then account for the following also goes in section E, one more questions. Account, account for the following, why the acetophenone compared to the other one, why is it less, why is it more, why is it more reactive in that. 
why is it responding to the particular reagent? We are going to do all that. So that means section B, section C, and section E. Wherever I am studying physical numericals, I have to concentrate. Rule number one. In the organic trends, I need to concentrate. Rule number two. Organic IUPAC nomenclature account for the following and the reasoning questions. That I need to concentrate more on that. Yes, then comes your section D that is a case based question. Case based questions, if I have to tell you, it may come from any part of the textbook. So, we are going to drill the NCRT, we are going to see this paragraph how it's going to come. Nothing to worry. So, from this, you have clearly understood for my upcoming. 70 marks paper, I have to concentrate on which which marks? 6 marks, 7 marks, 8 marks and 9 marks. Yes, chapters. Don't worry students. I'll be doing separate videos for what what. MCQ series will go. Case based will go. Very short answers will go. Short answers will go. Then your uh, numericals will go. Go it will be uploaded. Think to worry. So this is a complete pattern of your CBSE 2023-24. Nothing to worry. First important, believe in yourself. Keep your hand like this and say, I'm the best. When you say, I'm the best, you'll automatically get that confidence. I do it. Every day in the morning, I stand up in the bed the middle and say, I'm the best. I can do miracles. I can give my 100%. Correct? So, nothing to worry. So, concentrate. Our journey is going to start. But one request from you all, what is that? Please like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel. So watching. I'll be back with all the things which I've promised. Yes, grade 12 students, I'm there for you all. Same grade 10th also I'm there, grade 11th also I'm there. Jenny and the Catholics. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you so much. Please share the video. Your support is required for WOC. Remember, WOC will not charge a single rupee for spreading this education. Just spread the education students. Yes. Thank you so much. Signing off. Bye-bye.